Now, me and DJ are going to give you guys some plays from Arthur Smith's offense that fits quarterback Justin Fields and Trey Lance. Here, you look at this game against the Chicago Bears, Tennessee Titans versus Chicago Bears. Now, Arthur Smith already knows this is third and two. Right. Against this defense, third and two and five, third and two to six, this defense is going to play one robber, that's man coverage with the safety robbing down, or they're going to play one rat. That's man coverage with a whole player in here robbing anything that comes near this way. Now they're in 11 personnel, 11 personnel. Once again, that's one wide receiver, two wide receivers, three wide receivers, one tight end, one running back. I love this play because it's designed very well. Arthur Smith got his best player right here, A.J. Brown, on Chicago's third corner. Now this play we're about to show y'all, Justin Fields ran this play and hit this play for a touchdown to Garrett Wilson in the championship game against Alabama. This same play, but it was at a three by one. It was three receivers in the tight end backside. You see Trey Lance hit that in 2019 in his homecoming game. And here's the interesting thing about why we talked about who this guy is. This could be Julio, this could be Calvin, it could be Kyle Pitts, it could be anybody in this spot right here that you like to win versus the team's probably number three corner, like Harry mentioned. But also the detail. Why you put that tight end outside? Usually tight ends are inside, but now he's outside. It's trying to give another indication, like we talk about, of is it man, is it zone? Just something small for the offensive coordinator and the quarterback to look at. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to run a little inside fade from the inside here. Now, the good thing about this is man coverage across the board, you know exactly what it is. As a quarterback, my antennas are going up. I'm thinking, I got this guy, one of my best receivers, with all this grass to go through. Now, the thing for the quarterback here is to hold that safety. If you don't hold that safety, he's going to get over the top. And that's one thing that Harry, as a receiver, knows is please hold that safety. I don't want to get taken out because you didn't watch the safety. So this is a guy at right, this position, Trey Lance, Justin Fields, who can make this throw. And this is what Arthur Smith puts these guys in position to do. So let's let this play roll and watch this inside fade here and watch how much room he does. Now watch out off the snap. This is what your quarterback has to do is hold that safety here. Look at his head. His head's right down the middle. But you see here, what's the purpose, Harry, of – all the starting here on this line with all this grass out here. Well, the purpose is that because you, you don't want to just go out here right now because right. you want to leave space for this quarterback to throw this football. Yeah. You want to hold this red line. There's an imaginary red line that we have on practice fields. There's a red line. Every, <laughs> every practice that we practice on running down. So this is the imaginary red line right here. So he understands that this football at some point should make it to this red line right here. And here's the last part about this play here. Harry mentioned it's third and two through five, something like that, and they're playing man coverage. What if you got Trey Lance or Justin Fields and they're playing man coverage and you don't like this? This guy can make somebody miss and create. One guy in the middle or these two guys out here, you can pick up this first down because of their athleticism. These are the type of things that's unlimited in the Arthur Smith style of offense. And as the play continues, we can see, watch him drop this ball in there and it's a completed pass for another big play. This could be Julio, this could be Calvin anybody that you like and that safety couldn't even get over there because of one the receiver did a good job harry did it a lot as we know but making plays like this is it, pretty cool and i know harry you like to see that watch his eyes critical his eyes keeps eye on that safety now he has what he wants and drops it in the bucket really nice play here on the outside and these are kind of plays these are formations that arthur smith puts his team in that makes it advantageous for their guys to win especially on third down. And once again, both of these plays, we've seen Trey Lance and Justin Fields make in college. In this day and age in the National Football League, having a quarterback that can move, that is mobile, and gives you options near the goal line is a plus. Let's take a look at a play here in Arthur Smith's offense where he uses the quarterback to his advantage now on the goal line. Having a good run game here, you know it's important. Opens up a lot of different things, but this is the zone read from the quarterback position. The most important thing is here is making sure you're selling it to this running back. And this is the importance of the run game being valuable and, and being on point. Look at all these guys. Look at all these guys in the white jersey. The, yeah. the defensive end has no idea that the quarterback has his football until he's almost scored a touchdown. So that's the importance of the run game being valuable, being on point, thriving. You get plays like this and walk in touchdowns by your quarterback. So you don't have to worry about the tight end. You got to worry about the running back. You got to worry about the quarterback. And this is already a part of Arthur Smith's offense, and it will continue to be a part of it. And you must account for it, especially in the red zone.